Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. You join us just in time for Spockster's Ascension. And it's a literal ascension because he gets engulfed in a ball of blue energy and transcends up to the heavens like a burning star of light. This is like the fanciest evolution sequence I've seen in Pokemon in a long time. Oh, oh, he's so merchandisable, so adorable. I cannot wait to sell so many Pikachu products. And man, they need more Wobbuffet products, by the way, uh -huh. because I have like three, and I really, really want more like Wobbuffet figurines. Oh, and make a fucking Esper figurine, by the way. I don't want a stuff. I just want a little dude to kind of chill on my desk, please. Mm -hmm. Now, I did uh, say he when referring to Sparks, but it is a she, as you can tell by the... Uh, the uh, little heart thing at the end of the tail there. It's interesting how that appears in the Pokedex. I wonder what will happen if I catch like a male Pikachu after. Will it replace it or will like the female form be the new hotness for the rest of the game? Who knows? Not really a big thing. Just an interesting tidbit to point out. Oh, oh yeah, have the munchie for little sweetheart. Yeah, you evolve so you get more treats because you need more carbs to get big and grow. Hmm, well, it's gonna be my secret weapon in the upcoming trial. We haven't actually passed through the trial gate yet, so it hasn't started, so uh, consider this a setup part, by the way. And you may be wondering why uh, I chose to put the evolution thing in at the beginning. It's because a fisherman wrecked my shit because it sent out... Uh, what? What? It's this one, like, eel-like Pokemon that's, like, part ground, and I didn't realize that, so I kept trying to attack it with Sparkster, and it wrecked my shit. But it evolved at the end of that, so I just put the evolution thing at the beginning, and it looks all good. Look at that vigorous splashing. Why don't you go out there and stick your toes into it? Ah, no, I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, is that part of the trial? Um, no, I just think it would be funny, actually. Oh, oh, oh my god, we're, we're gonna be able to surf this early in the game! I love this, like, uh, again, another fantastic uh, use of uh, this whole HM replacement is that they kind of throw, like, all the travel stuff at you really early. Like, not too long after this, we'll actually get Fly, uh -huh. which will uh, enable us to easily go back to the previous island. And that's just great, you know, it cuts down on travel time and bullshit, you can just get right into it. Not really sure about this booster seat you have going for Lapras here, I gotta admit. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, Ash rode... I can't believe I'm saying this. He rode a Lapras bareback during the Orange Islands saga. I took one for the team because you said that in a failed part last time. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's Wishy Washy. He's puny. Well, that's the point. He is called Wishy Washy, after all. Uh, what does Wishy Washy mean, exactly? Ah... Uh, Wishy-washy is like, you know, kind of nervous, kind of easily gives in. Let me get an exact definition of that because I am not a very good dictionary. I mean, we all know what it means, but if somebody asks us to explain what particular words mean, oh. we just won't be able to phrase it. Feeble or insipid in quality or character. Synonyms. I ineffectual, weak, vapid, milk and water, effet, spineless, limp-wristed, namby-pamby, half-hearted, irresolute, indecisive. That, that's enough! That's enough! That's enough! He's already dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, I kind of want to see, like, a thing where it's, like, uh, you know, uh, Wishy Washy goes to, like, a school of Pokemon. Not a school, Wishy Washy, like, different Pokemon. But then he meets a Magikarp who also sucks, and they become, like, fast friends on their quest to graduate or something like that. That would be a pretty cool, like, wild Pokemon double bow, like a Gyarados and a friggin' Wishy Washy in school form. Actually, yeah, yeah, they should totally do that. That'd be cool. Alright, Mr. Trainer Man, I can fight you on top of Lapras. I'm good to go. I'm pretty sure he's mad and he's trying to fight us because we swam directly into his fishing line, which probably fucked everything up. Yeah, he doesn't look too happy, but oh well, I'm the one on a trial here. Well, working up to a trial, I suppose. Now, how did you feel about the uh, Poliwag, you know, evolution? Because it's kind of refreshing to see them come back because I've always been sort of an on and off fan of the uh, Poliwag evolution line, especially like Poliwhirl, mm -hmm. who I actually like a little more than Poliwrap. I don't know. I kind of like identifying those, like, Generation 1 Pokemon that not many people seem to have a lot of fans of, and I'm just kind of standing in their corner, you know? Okay, well, to be fair, lots of people do like Nidoking, and apparently he can get some business done, but Nidoking's my boy, I'm mm. sorry. Yeah, I like uh, the Poliwag family. Poliwhirl, really solid. Uh, Poliwrath, he's like an angrier, bulkier Poliwhirl, but, uh, you know, I can't hate that. I mean, Chuck used him in Generation 2 along with a Primeape, if I recall things correctly. Yeah, Poliwrath is like what happens when Poliwhirl takes, like, lessons from a Primeape about how to get places in life. Get mad, get angry. Yeah, you know, guess results. 
Oh, so cute. So fainted. Good thing they're standing on water so that any electricity can be conducted to the enemy trainer and probably kill him. Oh, sorry about that, Herbert. I didn't mean to ruin both your fish sesh and your life. Well, I meant to ruin them a little. Huh? You can boost with Lapras, I'm just not doing it here because I wasn't really sure where to go next. Right after I say that, I boost. Why do I do these things? I, I, I ruin myself every time. Where did the ride Pokemon go when you're done using them? I mean, like, with Fly, I can kind of see what happens, but the, the others just kind of vanish into... Like, wait, because you're renting them technically, like, you don't have the Pokemon on you. So, like, do the Pokeballs get picked up later on? I don't know. Hmm. Come on, pose for the camera. This is just taking me back to the river stage in Pokemon Snap, where Poliwags were uh, quite prevalent. They were pretty hard to, like, take pictures of, actually. It's just like one polywag bopping around. Like, is, is he pacing? He looks like he's thinking about something. Oh, God, I can't believe. Should I evolve into a polyrath or polytoad? Oh, God, I can't decide. <laughs> ah! oh, I've got to find a King's Rock if I want to go the polytoad route. Uh, too much hassle. Yeah, I'm going to post this on the uh, polywag uh, group on uh, Facebook, and I'm going to get a ton of likes. My grandkids are cuter than that? What? What the fuck kind of comment is that? Well, of course my kids look better than a polywag. What? There was also one that said, I think you may have photographed me. Huh? Well, as you know, uh, everybody is a polywag on the internet. <laughs> I suppose. All right, that'll do for now. We'll get to the, the next level up is just another, like, bit of zoom for your camera. I'm not even sure what, like, the level 4 upgrade is, because you need 100,000 likes for that, and I sure as shit haven't got that far. Yeah, that, that sounds like work to me, and I ain't doing that. Oh, Sersky, Gen 3 represent. Oh, pretty neat. Now to kill it in a violent fashion. Oh, yeah. Well done. You survived. Yeah, he actually kind of tanked that, and I'm a little surprised. Well, Sparkster, not the strongest Pikachu around. This may come back to bite me in the ass, honestly. What's so odd is that uh, due to the nature that my Pikachu has, it actually has higher attack than special attack, which is just weird. Mm, not really the best, unless you're using something like Brick Break and whatnot, I suppose. Well, he does have Brick Break. Uh, oh, no, I tell a lie. He had Brick Break for a long time. But then I actually got rid of it for Grass Knot because I wanted the rock coverage and I figure I could use it against some other particular types that he struggles against. Grass is good against ground, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, alright, so there you go. Now I have that covered. Stay in the ball. Down and B, down and B. Come with me on my excellent journey, as I put you in the box and I forget all about you completely. Oh, well you say that, but there is actually a feature that allows a box Pokemon to uh, frolic and have fun, more of which later. Yeah, I did that for a little bit, not really my cup of tea, but meh. Oh yeah, we registered good. I wonder if they have to fill out, like, documentation every time they register. What? They've seen these Pokemon already. I mean, we have, like, what, 820 fucking Pokemon now. I'm not sure why they have to keep filling out the Pokedex entries when we have seen them for, like... This thing came out in Gen 3. That's been, like, at least four generations ago. Somebody should have data on this thing by now. I guess they don't have, like, Professor Birch's email or something. Do you think, like, the Pokédex nowadays is, like, one giant wiki that everybody contributes to, and then sometimes Surskit gets, like, really stupid entries based on if it's featured in a Game Grumps episode or something? Hmm, maybe so, maybe so. You cannot affect me, I am invincible. Listen, man, uh, you would not believe the kind of shit I have been thinking about today, it's nuts. Nice, nice. Oh, my head! I'm so confused as to why we would need a Psyduck in your team. Oh god, it's calling for help! Chew! Hey man, what are you doing, dude? I'm just, I I'm fighting this Pikachu. Over here, it's just like giving me a hell of a headache. Yeah, right, I'm can you help me out? See ya. One Psyduck is fine, two is too many. Yeah, yeah, well, I think one Psyduck is too many, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Yeah, pretty much. 
Look, there it is. Water! It's everywhere. Get used to it. Finally, someone says it. Just lovely. I like how they take a moment to process what your name is. Just like, eh. Natom and Tom, how do you say that? <laughs> Gotta roll it around in the tongue, see how it tastes. Yeah, Lana has a thing with swimmers, I noticed. What, the boy swimmer or the girl uh, swimmer? It's never specified, and I don't judge her regardless. Hey, same here, man. You know, you like whoever you want. Hmm, just as long as it's not a Pokemon. We don't we don't really go in for that kind of thing in this universe. Yeah, that shit is just weird, man. <laughs> Alright, back onto the open water, I suppose. It must take a lot of time to set up that little, uh, you know, booster chair, <laughs> you know, for your Lapras there. That's not quite a booster chair. I just keep thinking back to The Simpsons. Yar, this chair will be high, says I. <laughs> I still don't know why you need to wear the stupid, uh, uh, um, you know, the spandex for this kind of thing. I mean, like, I understand the helmet, that's fine. I have no idea why you don't have a shirt on, by the way, but you have a vest. Like, that makes a lot of sense. Well, because you're going out in the water is swimwear, mate. Okay, well, there's that. But then you get, like, to the, the, the Taurus charge, and he's putting on some fucking, uh, 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 BMX gear or something like that. I don't really get that. Well, again, it's just protective gear. I don't know. I, I didn't make the game. I don't know why you're pressuring me with these questions. Oh, I don't want to be in a Pokemon battle. Well, shut up and eat the lightning. Well, it's either eat the lightning or ride the lightning. Now let the other one be intimidated by this, please. This is your fate, if you decide to continue. Oh, it's gonna try healing itself. Haven't seen that one before. I have seen it before a lot, actually. Milotic, in previous gens, made great use of Aqua Ring. Too bad wishy-washy, not so much. That, that was just more annoying than anything. Just punch a fish. Just finish things off. Just just nicely, you know? Well, that's how the bears do it, you know? They don't use moves or anything like that. They will just grab a fish out of the water and beat it up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I've never fought a bear, and I kind of don't want to. The only bear situation I know of is that one commercial where the bear is fishing for salmon, and then the guy runs up to him and gets into a fist fight and then kicks him in the nads and takes his fish, which is fucking hilarious, by the way. Is that what that's from? I always wonder where it came from. Yeah, yeah, I first saw it in, like, you know, like, a contemplation, like, special, like, the best commercials of whatever, or this year, or something like that, but I've never seen it anywhere else up until that point. I don't get it. I think it was, like, a, a commercial that did not air in America, actually. I don't know. Hmm. What, Lana, what, what is the deal? Are you, do you have some kind of swimmer fetish? Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, swimsuits are obviously designed to, you know, show off certain sexual characteristics, so... No, I, I believe they're designed to wear in the war, actually, man. I don't know what okay, well, yes, <laughs> that's a primary function, but at the same time, back then, you know, swimsuits used to be a lot more moderate, but these days they've gotten skimpier and skimpier and skimpier as time goes on, so I guess that's what she's looking for. I don't know. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you need a second over there? Do we have to stop the recording? Well, we already did! <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah, we've been having technical difficulties with the last couple of parts, but it's fine, because we've got a magic op to deal with now, and at this point, I think the fishermen are just taunting us. Didn't you fight, like, a trainer, like, way back when, like, not in this game, but, like, games ago, where he had, like, four or five Magikarp that he threw at you, I seem to recall there was a trainer like that. Well, that's pretty much every fisherman in every game, but, yeah, I guess he was just trying to, like, level up a squad of Gyarados. Not a bad squad to have, but, man, the frustration and tedium in leveling up all those Magikarp at once, it just doesn't bear repeating, honestly. Yeah, I mean, back then they didn't have EXP shares, so Magikarp couldn't just sit in the back and do nothing. No, you had to put him out, then withdraw him real fast, and then keep doing it until he got to level 20 where he learned a fucking move worth his time. Well, well actually, to be fair, uh, the comment section did remind us that there was EXP share all or something along those lines in, like, red and blue, or maybe it was yellow. I don't know, but 
that was like in Future City, and you needed to have caught like 50 or 60 Pokemon to get that, so it's not really like this on the same level of like ease of access as, uh, you know, the X and Y or Sun and Moon EXP all. You better dry him up, otherwise he will probably kill himself by using <laughs> his electricity. Yeah, I've left my Pichu days behind me, okay? I'm not going back to that. We've evolved past that now, as you see. Aw, what a adorable little shit. Max friendship, you see. Okay, guys, that'll do it for this part. Join us next time when we actually do take on the water trial.